Yo, what's up guys? Hey man, welcome so much to the channel. Y'all know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe. I mean, that's the first thing I'm gonna tell you guys, man, because it really helps my channel out. It really helps people um, kind of tune in, you know, because what happens is when you subscribe and you watch the videos and you watch the channel, uh, YouTube actually pushes my channel out there for more people to view, more people to watch, which then, you know, of course helps me. It comes back to me and I can help more people like I've been, like I've been helping you guys out there. Um, if you're new to my channel, go and, and watch my videos. I don't even watch the videos, just read the comments so you can see how much I try to help people. And um, and you can see I'm genuine, man. I'm not here to, you know, be like, oh, you know, he just wants to like use and stuff. Like, no, I really want to help you guys make the best decision, um, not just for you right now, but for you in the future, okay? So, um, so I'm here for it. I've been here since day one for that. Um, Again, to all my day ones, thank you so much for being there, man. Thank you so much for subscribing and always staying loyal. Yeah, no, I appreciate y'all. All right, so today I wanna to talk to you guys about the classes that you take while in the radiology tech program. So basically your core classes that you have to take once you get in, accepted into it. Um, I get a lot of questions about that. Oh, what do I take? What do I have to do? What do I have to do? You know, so this is a screenshot. I don't know how long it stays up there, but take a picture of it, screenshot it, that way you kind of know, but I'm gonna go through the classes, that way you kind of know what to expect. Um, and we'll go from there and see if it's if it's for you, if it's something you really wanna do or you don't, and um, let's see. So the first class, of course, is Introduction to Radiology and Patient Care, and patient, you know, patient care. So um, basically, they're introducing introduction. <laughs> so basically, an introduction to the radi radiology world. You know who invented it, um, and uh, how long it's been around. What kind of different machines are out there, and of course, patient care because some colleges depends where you go. Some colleges they'll you go you as soon as you start the program that same week you start going to hospitals and start going to clinicals. So they want to teach you about patient care that way you know and you have an idea how to treat patients. You know you just want to go in there and be like oh I don't know what to do and you kind of feel lost. You feel like that anyway in the beginning because we're just human right? We're nervous it's new whatever but at least you have an idea of what to expect and how to treat patients. You know, so that's your first class. Your second one is radiology terminology. You know, so that way when you go to radiology, you know, clinical side, you kind of know what so certain things mean. Um, and, you know, you get familiarized with it. I don't want to go into detail because I'm not I'm not here for that video for now, but I could get into that in another video. Um, there's uh, principles of radiology exposure one and two. That's two different classes. Um, so that helps you out. I don't really know, since I'm not a teacher, I really don't know what they really teach you in every single class, every single section, but I'm here to tell you what classes to expect. Um, they had to take radiology positioning one and two, and you had to take uh, positioning one and positioning two with lab. So basically that's four classes. So positioning one is a class, positioning one with lab is a class, positioning two is a class, Positioning lab two is a class. So, you know, that's how they, I guess they teach you positioning, say a knee, AP, oblique, lateral, whatever. And then you go into the lab part, a different a different room in the school, and you have practice on each other. Oh, this is how you do an AP, this is how you do oblique, this is what you're looking for, you know. So that's what you do in those classes, I'm guessing. It's been a long time since I went back, to, since I went to school for that, man. So... I can't really get you in depth of what they teach now or how they teach it. Um, so I'm just here for you guys and try to tell you the, like the whatever they have in there. Um, radiology Science and Principles. Um, that's another class. That's kind of basically like, I guess, knowing the machine, maybe a little physics in there. Um, radiology Physics. Someone told me in the comments, like, hey, I don't know what, what physics you're talking about. You know, I don't know what, you know, I can't find that class in the radiology program. Now, listen, this is the, the screenshot you took in the beginning. This is from just one college. I don't know what all the other colleges offer or what they tell you to take or what their requirements are because every college is different. Some colleges might not tell you to take radiology physics. I don't know. You know, that's the difference between a private school, a state college, you know, so you really don't know. It should be a core curriculum. Everything should be the same. So, but again, I don't know, you know, um, then there's radiology, um, this one's called Practum. 
I'm not sure what that is, but they have one, two, three, four, five. So all those are, so basically practice one, practice two, practice three, practice four, practice five. they all each a separate class. I don't know what they do on that. So I apologize, but again, this is just, just one college, but I'm guessing all colleges probably have the same, but different wording. Uh, there's radiology, um, what is that? Oh, tech seminar. Again, I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe this college offers a practical seminar. I don't know. Maybe another college don't offer this. Um, so I'm not sure, guys. Uh, radiology, biology, and protection. Now, I do know that this class right here, biology and protection, is one of those classes that a lot of people fell out of and they get kicked out of the program. I don't know what makes it so hard about it. Um, like I said, radiology school isn't easy by no means. Um, but for some reason, this class right here, the radiology, biology, radiation, biology, and protection, that class right there, you really, really have to pay attention. If you have to stay after school to get extra help, if you have to like, I don't know, I don't know, but this class uh, bumps a lot of text, man. And you're into it for like a year, and then you get to this class, man, and they and you fell out of it, and you you gotta get you get kicked out of the program. Honestly, to me, that's not fair. I think that this class probably should be in the first semester. I think it's probably like in the third semester. This should be in the first semester, man, to see if you're gonna make it. And if not, then don't waste the students' time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is the hardest class, give it the first semester. It doesn't matter. And if they go by, if they pass that one class, then that means that they're gonna get to the program. You know, I think it's unfair to go to school for a year, then take this pro, then take this one class that that stops you, and then they kick you out. Be like, oh, you know, come again next year. Like to me, man, that's just that's just messed up, and that's my opinion. Um, quality assurance is is um, is a is a class. Uh, quality assurance to me is kind of like I guess um, seeing how your images come out. Are they nice? Are they grainy? Are they this? Why are they like that? You know, so it's kind of like the backstory of that. Then you have special special rad procedures and cross-sectional anatomy. And that to me is like, when you go to school, I didn't have that, that um, how can I explain it? I didn't have that, uh, what's the proper word I'm trying to find? I didn't have that luxury, I guess you can say. When I went to school, I went to a private school and uh, we we're like the guinea pigs of it. So the schools now, like colleges now, they have their students in the last semester rotate through a different modality like CT, MRI, maybe they can see a little bit of ultrasound to kind of see if it's something they want to do towards the end or in their career in the future. I never had that. So that's kind of cool that these colleges do that now. So it gives the student a different perspective on different modalities, you know, be like, oh, okay, I did an x-ray for a year and a half as a student. It's cool. Let me go see how CT is. Let me go see how MRI is. Some people fall in love with MRI. Some people fall in love with CT. Some people just like x-ray and they just stay there. Um, so that's kind of cool. I never had the opportunity, but I think that's cool what they're doing now in colleges, right? Um, then you have radiology pathology. I don't know why this particular school um, keeps that to the end. That should be, again, another class in the beginning, maybe second semester, not last semester. Um, and I might be reading it wrong. They might be doing it differently. This is just the classes they show you that they do. Um, but I think that's something that they should put at least in the second semester. That way you kind of get into pathology and know what you're looking for whenever you're doing x-rays. Um, even though we can't, we don't have the, um, the license. We don't have the authority to tell a patient, oh yeah, you, you broke your leg. You know what I'm saying? You dumb player. You know, we can't say that. We can't do that. You know what I mean? Um, so, but it's good to know what you're looking at. It's good to know, you know, what you're x-raying. That way when you do your notes on, you know, the radiologist, you can be like, hey, so-and-so, blah, 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 you know, this is how it looks like, this is what I think it is, and that's it, you know, and uh, just because you tell the radiologist what I think it possible, you'd be like, possible this, you know, you're not really telling the radiologist, oh, this is what it is for sure, you know, it's just kind of like, a hey, possibility this or whatever, you know, and you're giving the radiologist a heads up on where to look at specifically, that way they, they even though they have to read the whole image, they can just kind of go and, and, um, and, concentrate on a certain area of the anatomy that you feel like you saw something, you know? Um, and that's basically it. So all together, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I think 20, 20 classes, 20 core classes all together. And um, like I said, guys, you know, when you start a program, you might start with 20 
and you'll finish with 11. It's just the way it is. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'll, like I always tell you guys, I was never the smartest. I just had that, that passion, that motivation, that consistency, that, that willingness inside that I was not going to let myself fail, you know, and that's what you got to have. You got to have that grit in you. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that grit, that understanding, that belief that you're smart enough, you deserve it and you can do it, you know, and, um, I believe all of you guys can. Um, again, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. You already know I'll be back. Peace.